Gojo's Infinity is often regarded as one of the most broken abilities in not just Jujutsu Kaisen, but in all of anime as a whole. Gojo's Infinity is one of the strongest defensive abilities in all of anime, making him practically invincible from any and all attacks. Basically what Gojo's Infinity does is it takes the space between him and his own opponent, and it divides the space an infinite amount of times, making it so that his opponent will never be able to reach him. And not only will his opponent not be able to reach him, but the attacks from his opponent will also never be able to reach Gojo, despite how close they may get. And what makes this ability even more overpowered is the fact that it is completely automatic. It is not within Gojo's control. Of course, yes, he can manually turn it off and on, but in almost every case, Gojo's Infinity is being automatically turned on or off depending on what's coming at Gojo. So even if you're insanely faster than Gojo, you still won't be able to get past Gojo's Infinity in any case. So all these factors added in together makes Gojo practically unbeatable in most cases. However, I said most cases, not all cases. There are a few handful exceptions of characters within anime that will be able to bypass Gojo's Infinity and will be able to beat him. So I decided to dedicate this video to the characters that are able to actually bypass Gojo Satoru's Infinity and are able to completely destroy Gojo in all aspects in a fight. However, before we get into the list of characters that bypass Gojo's Infinity, we first need to go over the ways somebody could bypass Gojo's Infinity. And quite frankly, there are only two ways. One is either through that person's abilities and them having some sort of hacks that is able to just completely negate Gojo's Infinity. And two is by speed. Now, I know earlier in this video, I mentioned that even if you are faster than Gojo, you still cannot bypass his Infinity. However, there is one exception to that rule. And it is if you are faster than infinite speeds itself. As I mentioned earlier, Gojo divides the space between him and his opponent infinitely. So if you have infinite speeds, you will be able to traverse that infinite space that Gojo is dividing. So it will not make a difference for you if you do have infinite speeds. So now that we've established the two ways to bypass Gojo's infinity, let's go into our list of characters. Lilibaru is one of Yuha's royal guards. And... He possesses an ability that directly counters Gojo's infinity, that being known as his shrift, the X-Axis. Lilibaro's X-Axis grants him a sniper, however, this weapon does not operate like any ordinary sniper does. Basically, whatever is caught in between Lilibaro's muzzle and the target is completely erased, as everything in between the muzzle and target is pierced through completely no matter what defenses are put up and the reason why this works against gojo is because nothing is actually being fired out of the muzzle of lilibaro's sniper rifle all that is happening is that lilibaro is just erasing whatever is in between the muzzle and his target so because gojo's infinity technically has nothing to block there is no reason to say that lilibaro's x-axis wouldn't be able to completely work on Gojo. Lilibaro's X-Axis simply grants him an unblockable attack that Gojo's Infinity would have no effect on whatsoever. And out of all the characters that counter Gojo's Infinity, I would have to say that Lilibaro probably has the most clear-cut counter out of everyone. Now, honestly, I can probably make an entire video dedicated to just simply bleach characters that bypass Gojo's Infinity. However, I want to diversify it a bit more. So if you guys want to see a video just dedicated to Bleach characters that bypass Gojo's Infinity, let me know and I'll make one. But moving out the list, I have Enrico Pucci from Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. Now many characters that bypass Gojo's Infinity do so because of their insane hacks or their insane abilities. Enrico Pucci is one of the few that does it with speed. As I said earlier, one of the ways to bypass Gojo's Infinity is via speed. Specifically, you need to be faster than infinite speed. And Enrico Pucci is just that with his Made in Heaven. Made in Heaven is the stand of Enrico Pucci at the end of Jojo's Part 6. And as we can see in the stand stats, its stats for speed is listed as infinite. So the fact that Made in Heaven has infinite speeds 
It also means Made in Heaven can travel an infinite distance, meaning Enrico Pucci can bypass Gojo's Infinity in that regard. Once again, another character that makes Gojo's Infinity seem completely useless. Now, the third character I have here may be a character that many of you were not expecting to be on this list. However, the third character is Light Yagami from Death Note. Now, let me explain myself. In a straight up fight, obviously Light Yagami would stand no chance against Gojo's Infinity. However, we know that Light Yagami would not operate in this way. In a hypothetical scenario, if Light Yagami were to see what Gojo looked like and were to learn Gojo's full name and write it in the Death Note, the Death Note would work. It would not be stopped by Gojo's Infinity in any way. The Death Note has never once been shown to be a physical attack that can be seen or stopped in the slightest. All that happens is once somebody's name is written down, they die. And considering that Gojo is still a human, the Death Note would 100% work on him and has no reason not to. And again, since there is no physical attack, Gojo's Infinity has nothing to stop. Therefore, once again, rendering it to be inefficient. The fourth character I have on my list is any Naruto character that has access to insanely strong Genjutsu. More specifically, Madara Uchiha with his infinite Tsukuyomi. One of Gojo's most prominent abilities is his six eyes. He literally needs his eyes to be as powerful as he currently is. And once Infinite Tsukuyomi is cast and that ray of light falls upon Gojo, Gojo is completely done for as he is now trapped in a Genjutsu for the rest of his life. Now there are arguments I've seen people make for illusion techniques not to be able to work on Gojo. However, this just comes from one statement in Shibuya that I'm showing on the screen right now. And honestly, this one statement is extremely broad with no specifications and it's a very flimsy argument not indicating anything. So there is no actual proof that illusion techniques like Genjutsu would not be able to work on Gojo. And because of that, there is also nothing indicating that illusion techniques won't be able to just completely bypass Gojo's Infinity since they are again, not physical attacks. So unless Gojo decides to fight Madara completely blindfolded throughout the entire fight, he is getting put under an infinite Tsukuyomi Genjutsu and That'll be that. And finally, to wrap up this list with our fifth and final character, I have a Law from One Piece. Law possesses the Opi Opi no Mi Devil Fruit, and this Devil Fruit grants Law some of the most overpowered abilities in all of One Piece. However, the ability I want to focus on the most is the main one of the Devil Fruit, known as Room. What Room does is it's able to create a spherical space around Law and his opponent, and in this space, Law can manipulate anything he wants. Within Room, Law is able to do a variety of things such as switch objects with anything he pleases, with an example including switching somebody's heart out with something else. If Gojo gets trapped inside Law's room, Law can just simply swap out Gojo's heart and then crush it, and then that'll be the end of the entire fight. Law was also shown in Punk Hazard to be able to have some sort of control over people's souls when they are inside his room ability, with him being able to swap souls out for different souls. Now even though we haven't seen this ability since Punk Hazard, we know that Law has this, and soul manipulation is another thing that would work on Gojo considering that it is, once again, not a physical attack, therefore it cannot be stopped by Gojo's infinity. And Law only becomes more broken with his awakened techniques, as his awakened technique is basically room, except he can now apply the properties of room to whatever object he wishes. So this guy really has a plethora of ways to get past Gojo's Infinity. Now there are definitely many, many, many more characters that bypass Gojo's Infinity in anime. However, in this video, I'm just going to go over these five. And if you guys want me to make a part two to the series or focus on a specific series of characters, let me know in the comment section. But with all that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and make sure to like and subscribe and let me know what other videos you guys want to see in the future. I hope you all have a great rest of your day and I'll see you guys on the next one.